Hello, people. My friend who is watching me at the first time, are you the newcomer? Have you already subscribed to your channel? Good. Then this is the right time to learn or to get English lesson, which is based on the use of before plus a verb plus ing form and after plus a verb plus ing form. But before teaching you this lesson, I would like, first of all, to give you the word, which is somehow very difficult in terms of pronunciation. Many people, many English speakers use to pronounce this word very wrongly. Before the word is this one, this one, this one. Do you see? They used to say hate. Is this hate? No, it's not hate, but it's height. We say ha height, like this, height, Kigali height. Tomorrow, I will go to Kigali height. I am an, at Kigali height. Don't say I am at Kigali height. Never. That is a mistake. Irjoni kosayuvuze hate. Hate, na gobibaho, we say height here. Irijamba dusoma height. Yuvuze hate, umunu yumba. When you say hate, umunu yumbi, hate yo kwanga. I hate you. But I don't hate you. I hate them. They hate me. Never mispronounce this word again. Nuzo njere gusoma irijambo nabi ujusoma height. Ubure ubure gichinu. Chane chane nginyu wako ndende tuitaku tufuga kwe ifite height. Ifite height. Ndende. Good. Then uh, we are going to teach you this. Before plus a verb plus ingi form. And after plus a verb plus ingi form. This means that when before is followed by a verb, we put a verb and ing form. And when after is followed by a verb, we put a verb there and ing form. For example, I can say, before speaking English, I always think about the sentences. Before speaking English, before going into my bathroom, I take my towel. Nivango mbere yo kuja, muchumba no jera mo changwa se, mugo jero, mbanza gufata, towel, mbanza gufata esume. Nishata kubo before yo ya na verb, nishinga, ijana na ingi form. Don't say before to go, before to speak, before, before go, before speak, no. Before going, before speaking, before writing, before coming, before teaching. For example, I can say, before teaching English language, I write on the board. Mbere yo kuijisha urumiru wicho njereza, ndabanza ngandika kuchibaho. Good. Then after, I can say, after eating, I go to watch a movie. Mbere after eating which means that after nayo ijanana verb form don't say after teach no or after to teach no after teach you say after teaching but you can say after teaching or after i teach then when, before, and after are used with a verb, they always take ing form or ing form. Iyo before na after ya koreshezwe cyangwa se biri kujyana na verb nishinga tukongeraho ing form. Tukongeraho ing form. Good. Say, try to say before going. Uzavuge ngo before going. Don't say before to go. No. Before to go, this is a big mistake. Before to go there, no. Before going there, I first check each and everything. Then, 
after cooking, nijo, this is correct. Before going, after cooking. But don't say after to cook or after cook. That is a very big mistake. This is a big mistake and this is a big mistake. Please don't say before to drink water, I go to bed. No, before drinking water, I go to bed. Uh, you can say before writing an application letter, I read different books. Mbere yuko andika ibaruwa buri gihe mbere yuko nandika ibaruwa isaba kazi ndabanza nkajya kusoma ibitabo bitandukanye which means that don't say before to write or before write before writing good then we are going to see different examples here these are examples that are going to help us eh izingero zigiye kudufasha cyane mu byukuri for example here we are going to start from before before going to france you have to learn french you should learn French. Before going, you don't say before to go or before go. Before going to France, you should learn English. Number two here is I always wash my hands. I always wash to wash. I always wash my hands before starting to eat. Don't say I always wash my hands before start or before to start to eat. Never. I always wash my hands before starting to eat, to eat. Then the third is this one. I will learn English before applying for a job. It's better to learn English before apply, applying for a new job. We are here to serve you. I will learn English before applying for a job. Don't say I will, I will learn English before to apply or before apply. No. Before applying in the form, ing form. Numaya before, yo tumazegu ushirao before, ushirao a verb, ukashirao in the form. Nicho chonjeles. Then let us go to after. They fell down, babuye, after drinking beer. Bama zekunwa inzoga. They fell down after drinking beer. They fell, this is verb to fall, to fall down, kugwa. Are you present? I fall down every day. Then they fall down last week. They, they, they fell, sorry. They fell down last week. They fell, fell. We say they fell down last week. Very nice. Then here you can say after cooking. After cook. After to cook. No. You will say after cooking. After cooking meat. I invite huh? I invited, let us put the there. I invited all friends. Oh, you are generous. You are not selfish. Because you invited all your friends. Good. I'm going to bed after, okay, finishing my work. Or you can say, after finishing my work, I'm going to bed. Or, when I finish my work, I go to bed. After finishing, when I finish my work, I go to bed. This means that, ito na shaka utavugango, after finish, my sons are when she will go and after finish. Chanacha never tangis in much on your days. After finishing, after to finish my work, no. After finishing my work, I go to bed. I go to bed. After finishing my work, I go to bed. Then this is the next part of our lesson, which is the cut of today. The cut of today in english muchongereza harumuntu wavuze ngo even if it is hard it doesn't mean that it is impossible you can do it even if it is hard it doesn't mean that it is impossible you can do it nubwo 
bikomeye nubwo ubona ko bikomeye na akazi ka kukomereye ni bibazo birakomeye biteye ubwo it doesn't mean that it is impossible nabwo bisobanuye ko bidashoboka ibyo bigukomereye mu buzima it doesn't mean that it is impossible you can do it wabigeraho niba bandi babigeraho na ushobora kubigeraho even if it is very hard or even if it's very hard it doesn't mean that it's impossible you can do it ako kanu rwose kakujya mu mutwe niba wajya kubona ko hari ibintu bimeze nk'imisozi imbere yawe even if you think that these things are very hard to you it doesn't mean that it is impossible ni bisobanuye yo kibyo bintu bimeze nk'imisozi bidashoboka utabigera aho cyangwa utabirenga you can do it wabishobora nugiye tutekereza ko icyo nyeza gikomeye even if you even if you think english is very hard it doesn't mean that it is impossible you can speak it i thank you so much for today bye bye